Welcome to the Telabs Optical Land Basic Skills video, Easy ONT Replacement. The purpose of this video is to outline a quick and easy process for replacing established ONTs on the Telabs Optical Land system. The topics covered in this video will be an overview of the ONT provisioning data and how it is stored, an explanation of the process to replace an ONT, and an explanation of the process to move and copy an ONT in the Optical Land network. When ONTs are added to the Telebs Optical LAN system, they are provisioned into the working database of the Optical Line Terminal with a serial number, address, ONT type, and ONT label. Once the ONT is established, it can then be provisioned with parameters for each of the ONT's Ethernet ports. These can be provisioned automatically through a template or manually. Other parameters apply to the ONT as well, such as powering, analog voice services, and admin state. All this information, though dedicated to a single ONT, is not stored in the ONT itself. Instead, this data is kept in the OLT's local working database. This is a security feature of the optical LAN system. By ensuring that the ONT's data is not stored on the ONT itself, the ONT can be installed in unsecured places that traditional access switches cannot. Another advantage to having the ONT's database stored on the OLT is that the information can be easily applied to a new ONT if the existing ONT needs to be replaced. The only provisioning information that needs to be changed is the ONT serial number. To replace an ONT in Panorama, first make sure the PON port is not set to autoconfig. Check the running PON profile and adjust settings if needed. If the ONT is being replaced with a different ONT type, Make sure that the auto conversion option is turned on. Remove the old ONT and replace it with a known good ONT. Then make a note of the serial number on the new ONT. The ONT will boot up and then indicate that it has been discovered by a blinking pawn LED. Some models may differ. Check the documentation on the model that you are using. Once the ONT is booted and discovered by the OLT, go to the properties of the old ONT in Panorama. Select the ONT property tab. Find and check the box to unlock the ONT registration status and click apply. Refresh the interface and then type in the new serial number. Click Apply. Check the status of the new ONT. It should be active. The configuration of the provisioning of the new ONT should be the same as the old ONT. It should be noted that provisioning data for an ONT can also be copied and moved within the optical LAN network. This is done by copying the data for the ONT and then changing the address associated with it. In Panorama, find the ONT to be moved or copied in the tree view. Right click on the ONT and select Move Copy. Fill in the new address for the ONT. If move is selected, the previous ONT address will be deleted. If copy is selected, a copy of the ONT's parameters will be added to the database and the original ONT will not be affected. Note that the new ONT will have the same serial number and label as the original and should be changed to match the new ONT. In this video, we have discussed an overview of the ONT provisioning data and how it is stored, an explanation of the process to replace an ONT, and an explanation of the process to move and copy an ONT in the optical LAN network.